Okay, my name is Imran Admani. I am the brother to the deceased Lufun Nisa Khandwala Admani. Just a few weeks ago, we had uh, the exhumation and her postmortem. The preliminary, preliminary report of her postmortem has been released. It was found that the brain was intact and the esophagus, the food pipe, was normal. Also, the hyoid bone was fractured. These, thing, these three things are very vital because the brain being intact after two years of someone passing away actually astonished the pathologists and uh, it's near impossible to have a brain that's intact after two years because you have to understand as a Muslim she was buried uh, in cloth and not in coffin and nothing is uh, placed uh, on the body to preserve it in any manner. So the brain being intact was a great find and the, the, the doctors and the pathologists will be finding out that what was present in the brain to keep it intact. Also the fact that the esophagus, the food pipe was intact also will, it, it shows that um, something may have been there. But how can the food pipe be intact when the heart and other organs were not intact? Finally, the hyoid bone which is over here, it was fractured. This being fractured also indicates a possibility of strangulation. That when a person is strangled over here, this is the bone that gets damaged. And this is the bone that was damaged on the deceased person. So for this, we are hopeful that um, we, get, we get the results very soon. However, it's unfortunate to say this, that the, that the samples are still in the morgue in Mombasa. It's been almost two weeks since the exhumation, since the postmortem, but the samples that were collected, that were supposed to be delivered to the government uh, lab, have not yet been transported yet, and it's been two weeks that no one has done anything. Ten seconds. Thank you.